catch a man, what am I looking cute for? I look cute for him in a different way. He see me in the anointing of the Lord. When I have been carried, I was a devil. Oh, brother. <laughs> hey, Ruby, isn't it true, my sister? Ruby Moto, isn't it, isn't it my beloved? <laughs> if you catch the fish and the fish come out of the sea, of the, the holy water, and you don't want you anymore, throw that fish back in the sea, oh. Because when the Lord gives you a good tilapia or brim or red snap, it's yours, oh. Spice it and eat it. Spice it and eat it. Yes, so my sisters, I've left it for the younger girls who are looking for man, who are dying for somebody to see them. Me, there is somebody who saw me. To the point where this dimension where I am now, level of natural, it turns him to heaven when he sees me. He begins to shake. When I used to wear makeup, he shake. But now we shake with fever of the Holy Ghost and fire. I'm a sort of Is it it? Right? You got it, eh? <laughs> Where am I going to my head? My sisters, if you have a man who is asking you to bat yourself left, right, and center to look like a Jezebel Zaga Zaga, tell him also to blinch, to bat for you like a Jezebel. Because Jezebel goes both ways. Now, man, now, woman. Am I lying? <laughs> Kara Jadrek, close my mouth. My YouTube family, Mamba, you go please one of you, go please one of you, go please one of you. Shamwali, am I lying? And let me tell you, the men of your generation, the Lord has changed their mind. Most of them, they want to be builders, they want to be landlords. So some of my sisters to give you wisdom for fleeing. Instead of dressing up, makeup, makeup, or hair, hair, looking jewelry, sometimes men do not even try to come and ask you for a date because he's just having his first job and he thinks his salary will not be enough for you. But he's a good guy and he's a rich man in the future where he's going. But he's thinking, if he tells you, let's build something right now, he look at your fake nails. He says, this woman going to be able to stay away from fake nails for the next seven years so that we can come up with a very good income and save money and be make better life. He look at your fake Jezebel nails. He's saying no. He think eyelash, and you know some of you na do eyelash na kakara like that. Una do nyon 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 Father, women, they attack me. The messages they send me, they invoke. That's why we love to get the Holy Spirit. They sound like Jesus has taken salvation away from them. Apostle, you should not be talking like that. God love all of us the way it is. Makeup is nothing. Some of you, that's the reason why the Lord stopped makeup. And the reason why the Lord stopped makeup for women in the world. He said too many children are being left as orphans with nothing. And too many women have used all the finances that gave to their husband and to them for rubbish. Nyaga, nyaga. Sorry, my sisters. <clears throat> That's why I'm telling you, my sisters. Let me tell you. Here where we are. This is what I tell people. I took two of my friends to a party. This was rich people party. It was a vineyard. A wine yard, you know, where they, they do make wine. Rich people in Belgium. They are connected to the real family. We went there to go and do a small session for music. I took a friend. And this friend was dressed head to toe. All the white men that were there dressed well, well. She never got even market black men, white men, Chinese men. Nobody talked to her. You know me, I wear African clothing when I was on stage. She told me in the, in the coming back in the car, you're a married woman. Are you sure you love your husband? I said, why? She said, because all the men were just lining up upon you there and they were talking to you. I thought I said, let me tell you one thing. Most of these men have traveled to Africa. They did not fall in love with Africa for Brazilian or Peruvian hair. They did not fall in love with Africa because of what you think. Actually, most of these men, they fell in love with that same original Africa that some of you are ashamed of. And that's why when you see them go to marry, they don't enter Mayadi. They want people who are normal, not because they want poor people. No, they want people who live life, not comparing vanity. So when a, 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 a man who is proverb man, not, there's no proverb man, a woman, eh? Portable man with potential, man with substance. When he sees a woman who is natural, he starts to think of what the two can do together. 
But man, who's with substance, who see you with makeup and all these fake things? Hello? If they see you like that, you are actually chasing them away. Let me tell you, my sisters, I speak to men every day. I speak to brothers who are asking me, help me to find a woman. A woman. I said, my brother, usually you want one. Who they keep very here like me? Said the apostle, just one who is real. Sisters, there are a lot of men out here. And they are rich. And they are sweet. And they are kind. And they are nice. As Ambassador Tibon and Sharon, they found him. They are there. They are just looking for a woman which they can build something with. You, sister. Your husband, your, your, your boyfriend, the man that is dating you, has been going to school his whole life. He want to build the mama, mama heritage and inheritance and the papa leave them something good in this life. You, una go come. Your mama encouraged you. Do you know what your dream is? Let me show you some of you, sisters, the reason why you are missing marriage. Are they come? Let me put back. And that's why they said that some of you, you marry your fellow idiot. It's no lie, yo. Oh. It's no lie. It's no lie. <laughs> it's no lie, my brothers and sisters. Some of you marry a fellow idiot. Some of your sisters, you really marry a fellow idiot like you and you deserve one another. It's no insult and it's the time that the Lord gives to the demons and the spirit in you. Sorry, yo. Oh. Don't come for me and writing anything. And I don't want nobody to come and enter my inbox telling me about what you feel. Anything that you don't like here personally that I do, take it up with the owner of the message, the Lord. Don't deal with me. Me, I'm the lost property. Don't cross here. When they say, don't touch my anointed ones, if something rob you the wrong way, go somewhere else. Where the, what the Lord don't like is the ignorance to even approach me to come and talk rubbish when what I say is what the Lord says. That puts you and your whole entire family in problems. Some of you women, this is the reason why you don't have men. You meet a boyfriend. The first thing you want to ask for a man as a present. I want a nyash. And sister, if I know this world will tell you that it is love. If a man can go with you to take and wait for you. While they cut you up to give you fake nyash. A man who can escort you. To go and modify yourself from how God created you is the devil himself. You need to give that man divorce because Jesus will never give you a man who will send you to come and carry this. And you are not looking fine. Oh. How many people know that song? These babies are killing you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This fake nyasha killing you. God deliver my sisters. Jesus. This fake nyasha is killing them. Oh, making men run away from them. Marriages leaving them. These fake bums are killing you. You know, be like. You know, be like. It don't even match the leg and the nyash. Can you imagine? Let's just make comparison. Can you imagine? Me, I'm like structure from Zambia and Kenya. Can you imagine a Kenyan leg? Or a, Zimba, a Zambian leg? Let's go Kenya and Zambia because this structure that I have is representing Zambia and Kenya. And any Kenyan, carry the, carry the go in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't come here with Nyak and Nyak because I will send Holy Ghost for you. This structure is representing the sisters from Zambia and Kenya. Uh -huh. Can you imagine this small leg? On a South African yash. You look like a monument that they disfigured, that ran into a transformer in hell that they did not. <laughs> and you want men to be bringing you to their families. That at the introduction, all the brothers and sisters are coming out. They say, yeah? <laughs> they are all laughing at the yash. All of you can act as if what I'm saying is not true. Be watching them walk around here nyai, nyai, and they wonder why they are single. Because men think you are only fun for short times. So they go out there, they work a lot, they invest in what they love, and when they want to waste and spend some good quality time and waste some money, they come to you.
the BBLs. Because they, I never heard that uh, any of the Arabic men who they poop the women in Dubai ever did wedding with one of our sisters. They don't like you people now. The devil using your lies for nothing. You know, because I never heard that anybody, our brother or our sister, came back from Dubai that after they poop in their mouth, the marriage contract they come. Who go marry you after they poop in their mouth? <laughs> this demon is carrying your devil, your liar. I reject you in the name of Jesus. Hi. I reject it. The truth is harsh. And you know me, I'm a comedian, I'm a drama queen, I'll drag it. That's the part that the devil don't like about me. But the Lord told me that this part, he made it special to chalk the, the hell, the hell of hell ring. Hey, he tell me, the Holy Spirit tell me that John the Baptist was like this. They said John the Baptist was full of humor, but if he rebuke you, even your hair on your scalp, and I go, no, now Jesus has come. He didn't even care if you are going to call him, is this a real man of God? Now this one, that's why for me, you're encouraging me. Keep coming for me and condemning me. You don't know if you people loved me too much, then I would be a liar. Because if I'm serving Jesus in truth and in spirit, the world is supposed to hate me because this world has never loved Jesus. It is the temples and the vessels and the people who repented for Jesus. Adebiro. Adebiro. I just said the truth the way it is. So my brothers and to my sisters, in fact, some of you are beautiful. Two things that the reason why men judge you in a, low, a wrong light. The bleaching. Bleaching equals to promiscuous promiscuous equals to prostitution i'm telling you if you look around the world any woman who is capable to take bleaching cream and put it on her body and make herself permanently like that is also capable and able to be a co-worker on the street that's the truth if you please i want to hear somebody i lie I lie. TikTok and Facebook, you guys who are still on. I lie. My sisters and brothers, I lie. I lie. Let's talk the truth. And when it comes to a man, woman to woman, I want to tell you something I learned from men. That when they see you capable to bleach your skin, change who you are, they know that you are very dangerous. Your thrill and your risking is very dangerous. But that thrill and risking, if it is changed and transformed for God, the devil would not even come near you. Because you are not even afraid to lose your life. Because you love this world so much that you would sit on a BBL table. When I see that our brother from America, young DC fly, he escorted his baby mama to go and get BBL and tummy tuck and tummy sack. She never came back again. Three children left behind. I rebuked that brother at that time. Because if that brother loved that woman, he should have not even escorted her. He should have loved those children more. Because he should have thought. So the women who can bleach, they are very easy to become prostitute. The same with men who can bleach. They are very loose. You know why? Because the devil has made you love him so much. That you can do that. What more can you not do? What more can you do, I mean? And that's the truth. Most co-workers, most former co-workers, they ruin their skin. The thrill, the adventure spirit in you is very dangerous. So to all of you, my sisters, if you can stop bleaching now, stop now. And if you, were, you used to bleach before, it's okay. There is a girl in our country. I don't know what her name is. I think her name is Tina of Trina. I don't know. This girl is so beautiful, my brothers and sisters. But there is one thing that always makes me feel sad. And that girl will have to live with it. She used to date Chile one. Any Zambian here, what's the name of that girl? That girl, my brothers and sisters, she's almost like colored on the face. But if you see her hands, disgusting. Even the, the moment she opens her mouth that she's intelligent. The moment she does this, I see her hands. I say, no, 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 no. 
That spirit never ever marry in my family. God forbid. I will fast before the Lord allow that thing. It's a shame. It's a shame to be so beautiful. If she was black, her own complexion, it would be beautiful. That woman, you can say that I'm bullying her. Sorry, but I'll call it out. Bleaching is making men leave you. And most men, they'll date a woman who bleaches. But to settle down for marriage, it's rare. And most women who used to bleach and receive Jesus, they are the ones you need to sit down. My mother used to be a woman that was born black like me. She bleached herself so much that Jesus saved her. It was even too late with her skin after God saved her. So I lived with a woman about bleaching. And my mother would tell you the truth. And my, where my mama met my papa and what type of woman she, she was and how she used to risk life. And that's why I learned it from my own mother. My mother was not a prostitute, but she lived a fast life. And when I say fast life, she wanted to look like a colored, which means she wanted a high standard lifestyle. That comes with a price. So to all of you, my brothers and sisters, mm -mm, this is for the sisters. In fact, the brothers, because men should not even, in fact, if a man bleaches, you need to enter into warfare room. Because a man should not even be idle enough for the devil, because the devil never manipulated Adam. He manipulated Eve first. A man should learn better to be stronger than the head of his house. That's why when you see countries like Congo, where men are bleaching, do you see that the men of Congo, the ignorance is very big? In Congo, there's a culture of men looking well. Have you heard of it? Looking, they have a name for it. Zia is the one who knows it. They have a special name for it. They wear brands and expensive clothes, but they'll live in a house without electricity and they live like animals. And this is the truth. And there's even a documentary on BBC. Go and find out about Congo. I'm not lying. Men should never bleach. If a man can be low, most men who bleach is by accident. 30% is by accident, for real. Because they have a wife. After they finish to bath, they use their wife pot of jar. She put carol right in there. She mix it with melanton. Melanton plus gelatin and gelatining and gelatin. No, 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 no. By the time they they, 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 they go start becoming, baby, are you ready? Michael Jackson. Ah, Lord, help us. But men, like the way my people from Congo, men actually know the routine and the product to put to bleach. No, that one. The devil glutted Congo in, Congo in a very bad way. Oh, Brazzaville. Congo, Kinshasa. No, my people, that one, the devil glutted you very bad. Because all of you, it don't matter if it's children. And you can hate me if you want. The moment you do your knuckle like that. Michael Jackson, Fanta, Coca-Cola. That when you see leg, it pain me. Because the skin that you wanted to get rid of still looks times ten beautiful. Even if it's just some patches like vet Lego. Sorry, God help me sometime with the body. <laughs> And as mothers, this is something that I learned. Every man by his mother has been told, don't ever marry a woman who bleaches. She's a prostitute. And that's why even when they find them educated and intelligent, mothers don't welcome those type of women easy. And I'm sorry, or you cannot blame God. That thing vexes God the most when a person changes the skin that God created them. Una go have a lot to answer for. And you go be bent extra barbecue, extra hot chili, Madame Chanette, pepe, in hell because of that rubbish that the devil sent you. Sorry, sisters. So some of you, the reason why you're not finding marriage, that bleach thing destroyed your life. Even if you have never been a prostitute, the fact that you can take a leap to want to do that to yourself. Those who are spiritual and have got wisdom, I ask myself, if this person can do this, what more can they do? I'm not a fool. Tell me. Let me look at you. I will know who you are. Your eye will tell me more about you. Your appearance, how you carry yourself, will tell me more about you. What you think? Now your father, Satan, who doesn't tell you anything about people. Ask our father, Jesus Christ. 
He has taught us. That's why he's our mentor. He lends us. It's called wisdom and knowledge. The Lord says one parable. It takes us from here to heaven. Bleaching. Bleaching. Fake niashi. These are the things. Flashy lifestyle. Some of you, a man wanted to marry you. The reason why he, he settled for the other woman is because of your expense. Fake life. Some of you, there are men who are actually good, but they don't have the money that you, you want right now. They're even afraid to approach you because you, mama nails, mama Brazilian hair every day. Come, come. And some of you, the reason why they didn't marry you because he was trying to see if you're a ma marriage material. He's been dating you for seven months. In that seven months, he has told you in twice or three times that financially, he was low on finances. You did not stop asking for money for Brazilian hair, sister. You did not stop asking money for nails. You did not even stop asking money for makeup. And most of all, some of you are even trifling to confuse men, eh? plus lashes, to confuse men. Una wax. You also asking him for wax. <laughs> My worry. <laughs> That's why they go to their wives. They give the big check to their wives. You think they spend the most money on side chicks? No. Husbands build investments with their wives, the right side. This left side is that change that their wife will not know about. The peasant's money. When they remember, what do I want to do? Let me go to that woman who is a peasant. They come to you, sister. You, you think you are something. They take you to the saloon, this and that. They know that that's all you are worth. That's why he can't build nothing with you. So looking flashy. The guys are afraid. They are looking at us, sisters. Especially single women. Because these days you measure men by car. Five sugar daddy unanak unanak in the last five years. Buy you a Lamborghini. Now the brothers, you, your father cannot even afford to buy Lamborghini. The, the men who buy you Lamborghini are people's husbands. Now the man that loves you has to suffer for the Lamborghini for married men. You think Jesus is happy? You women who are judging men these days, if you don't have a car, and no man. In the old days, my mama and papa taught me, they used to even have wheelbarla. You know what wheelbarla is? Wilba in English. In Nyanja, wheelbarla. You know what wheelbarla is? <laughs> In English, Wilbur. You know what Wilbur is? The wife would sit in front. You know the one they push people for cholera when they get sick? The wife would sit in front. The husband would drive her. The two would go to the garden singing romantic songs. They became rich later on. This is my generation. We underestimate people. A lot of us are single because we saw this much of a man's appearance and life. What we didn't know, that the devil wanted you to lose interest and taste. But my sister, you are living a good man. Because there is all of this that the Lord has for that man that you don't know. Hey! When the Lord is speaking, oh, I don't, don't stop, let it come. Father, I will never stop. Hello! You see, the children, they know me in the park. Their parents, they don't even know me sometimes. My sister, ha! <laughs> They go learn that that jaribu, when their father, did, my sister, that's what I want to say. That's another thing why some women are single, wanting to weigh men. I've already said this before. A lot of you women, you want a rich man, but your father never even had that. The first man you should cry for to be rich, now your father. Not somebody else's son, your father. In fact, he has not even become your husband. I don't like a poor man. I don't like poverty. Don't worry, sister. The Lord is great. God changed people's lives. This man will not remain a poor man forever. Even Abraham was a poor man when he met Sarah. Sarah saw her man become a great nation. God. Even Papa Rokofeda is seeing here. I used to be a poor woman. I'm going to riches and glory bestowed by the Lord upon my head. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Ah, let me carry the go. You see the joy of the Lord. They touch me too much now. I don't even want to go.
That's why I thank, my, I thank the Lord, though, for allowing that day when I wanted to bleach for that bleach cream to refuse me. The bleach was not bleaching. The bleach rejected me. My TikTok family, let me carry the goal. I love all of you. Have a blessed day. Shalom. Let's carry the goal. Let me go to my family. The bleach was not bleaching. And those of you are on TikTok, if you want, wait. Oh. Those of you are on TikTok, if you want to join, I'm still going to be live until I walk home from here to my house. You can join on Facebook, Apostle Rachel. You will see the picture and the name. It's easy if you want to join. Yes, so I thank the Lord that He allowed me. He allowed me not to blinch. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blinch refusing me. Because if that blinch would have accepted me, my children would have been looking at me now like I wanted to compare with my children. No, my brother says, I didn't have intention to compare with those children. Those children are mixed. They are 50% me, 50% their father. Me, I'm also 50% my mama, 50% my papa. Now this color I receive. Now my papa will give me. This sleep I carry. Now my papa will give me. Yes, my sisters. Let not the enemy lie to you. The devil is a lie out here. Ruining your own lives. And that's why some of them, they thought when they were bleaching, they were cute. The biggest example is that girl, the one in our country, the actress, I don't know if it's the singer, Tina or Latrina, is embarrassing and she's always hiding her knuckles like this. You know why? You can't live with those things. It makes people look. And we can see it. We are not supposed to gossip. But we go talk the truth out here. That's why I speak it here. Trina, in case you get offended, or Tina, ex Chile girlfriend, wife, a uh, girlfriend, sister, don't be offended. I use you as an example because you are part of the women who are bleaching. And I'm not here to insult you or bring you down. But I just say the truth. And those things, it's your own decision. Huh? I just speak in the truth. And the truth is not mine, it's the Lord. Hello, my sister. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, good. Long time I don't see you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I are you much better now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, may God deliver you, eh? Yeah, okay, may you be healed, eh? Okay. Salam alaikum, my sister. God bless you. I see that, my sister. This park, that's why it's blessed. This one, she walks in this park every day at least. You see her, she's not on her stool. She trusts God to walk again, and I've seen her. She walks around, she's praying. You will find her. That's what I love about her. She's just praying by herself, speaking to God while she's driving. I like that. Because if you, sometimes you just need your own time by yourself with God, away from people. That's why I do what I do outside. I do it on the street when I want to proclaim the gospel open like that, but I like to be by myself like this in the presence of God because I don't want anybody to disturb me. Do you understand what I mean? And I mean I'm alone physically, but spiritually we are all together. You understand what I mean? And then I also love to go to church. I love to go to church that you go and praise and worship together, that all of you are dancing for God. I love that one too. So, I pray you get the message, my sisters. That's why I'm telling you this message is actually very important to younger girls who have not ruined their lives. I learned a lot from my mother's life, my stepmother who raised me, Anika Zimbo. I learned a lot from that woman, and I'm so grateful and thankful to God that she did not have shame to tell the truth. And that woman really did a lot of things in her life that were not great like all of us. But when my mother met God... That's the type of relationship I want to have with God. Because my mother really had a relationship with God. There is nothing that that woman would not ask for. Hello. 
there is nothing that my mother would not, that would, she would pray for and that God would not ask. My mother used to have a deep personal relationship with God and it was genuine and true in how she lived and who she was. And even where she, she raised us in that neighborhood, people can tell you. And I'm happy she opened up the truth and told me and warned me and just made me realize some of these decisions we make, they are good for you now. But I, I would like, in fact, I, I will have a, one of these days, I would just like to speak to the younger generation. I don't know from what age we should start from, but I think it will be very, very nice that we just have a talk, you understand, with the younger generation. Just to talk to the younger women to make them understand, you understand. Say you trailing. You like Opoka, father and zone? Ja, dat wel. Hij is de vader, hè? Nee, u bent de vader. <laughs> <laughs> u bent de vader. U lijkt op elkaar, hoor. Oh, dan moet ik uh, stoppen. Dan nee, maar dat is mooi. Vind je dat? Yes, het is een zeker ding. Kijk eens, ik heb drie jongens en ik, alleen, ik kan alleen wachten. Je hebt een zoon, hij is groot, je raised hem en nu je werkt met hem. Hij is een fellow man zoals je. Ik heb twee dochters en een zoon. Het is genoeg. Het is een blessing. God has blessed you. En hij is een kind man. Ik zie het in zijn ogen. Yeah. But like you too. Thank you. Yes. Fine a dark. Eh? Yeah, okay. Blijf a so met oka, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you see, I see a father and a son. What a beautiful bond. My sisters, if there's something, it makes me even wanna cry right now. I'm telling you the truth. The moment that I am ready, I want to have that old man, Langford Botha, my father. If he's going to die, he would die here in Holland with me. Because let me tell you something. Parents, it's just look. There are the two of them walking their dogs. That's his son. I know that my husband is going to be like that. Uh, if we live as long, by the will and the grace of God, we get old. I know that I'll see him with our sons like that. Because even right now, he's just very patient with his sons. He puts in all the love, all the time. You understand what I mean? So anyway, we are going to have a talk. We can talk to young women. Because to tell you the truth, when you come here abroad, the young girls are really natural, eh? It is the older women that are into the fake Botox and things, and I'm surprised that they're coming in in Europe. But the younger women here, I'm telling you, there's a big difference than our younger women in Africa. The younger women here, they are concentrated on school, getting a house, wanting to move out by the time they are 22 years old. Because even me, my firstborn now, my firstborn has to move out of our house seven years from now. He has to live alone, job and all of that. They teach them a different priority. Me, I want to teach my children the most first, first priority in order is to fear God, the creator of everything. And the second thing I want them to know is that vanity is useless. We need to talk to young girls, I'm telling you the truth, because what makes people bleach their skin, it disform their bodies, is to reach that dream. But you need to make yourself like that to reach a small part of the friction of whatever thing you think is a dream and part of your life, which is very small like this. Destroying your whole life for something this small. The devil is a liar. And as a girl, as a woman who, who used to be a girl, now I'm a woman. Looking back, me, I wanted to bleach because I thought all the girls that are lighter, they had more market. And because Africa, that's how Africa makes us feel. But my sisters, it be the same African men that are making you bleach, you are laughing at you, and marrying women who are villagers like us. <laughs> and the white, the Chinese, the whites, the Caucasian, the Asian, they love us natural like this. Your teeth looking yellow, yellow like this. Your hair looking, your hair looking natural like this. Una smell even Africa ocha small, small. They like it. It's called extra spice. They love it. If I tell you that some of the people that I know who are ambassadors and boss, if you meet the woman they marry, you will not believe that that woman is an ambassador's wife, a diplomat, that when this woman leaves her house with African rapper, a security guard, not even a black man, she a black woman, a white man standing next to her. With a rapper. That's why 
on the other side, I have to give shout out to my Kenyan sisters. My Kenyan sisters are never ashamed of where they come from to tell you the truth. My Kenyan, my Kenyan sisters, when they marry in a white family, they put the name of Kenya there. You will know Nairobi. You will know, you will know Ngara. You will, own, you will know Kisumu. <laughs> Let me tell you, they go take you to that song they do. Ay, 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 ite la diane gisumu. Ay, 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 le, le, ite la diane gisumu. Kisumu be, kisumu. Ite la diane dala. Kisumu be, kisumu. Ite la diane dala. Benaligo. You understand that song? The Kenyan people who know what I'm talking about. The, the Kenyan people will let you know about that. And that's how it should be. The people from Sudan. Number one women representing my African continent the right way. Because once upon a time they were laughing at Sudan. The biggest top models in the world right now that people are looking at as the stature of beauty is a black woman from Sudan. Won't Jesus do it? Once upon a time they said black was ugly. Thank you Lord I didn't bleach because now I am ready. I can stand in that anointed melatonin. Smile and pause for the glory of the Lord. Smile and pause again. Smile for the Holy Ghost. Thank the Lord for your marathon. Love you to be black. Yes. Blessed yes. Come on. Yes. <laughs> this talk is entering too sweet. Oh. This talk is just too sweet, sisters. This talk is just too sweet. Let me carry the go. This talk is just gotten so deep that even me, I don't understand what the Holy Spirit is doing right now. But I feel it good. You get it. Uh -huh. So let's close, my brothers and sisters. I hope this message. Whatever one or two things you pick out there, it helps you. And as the church, we know what we prayed about and we go continue to pray. May God bless all of you, my brothers and sisters. Let me go to my family now. You people have a blessed day. I'll see you people tomorrow by the will and the grace of God. I'm working again tomorrow. Let me arrive in the house. Amen. Love all of you and God loves you more. And mothers, talk to your daughters. And one of these days, I want to talk to young women because me, my life, I believe was I went through everything to qualify me, but also so that I can have something to stand on and speak the truth, not from anybody else, but from God, the Bible, and my own story. I believe I can help a lot of young women out here because our generation is twisted. And before it kills you, young generation, you better make the right decision. I love all of you, eh? and God loves you more. And thank you all of you that joined live to praise and worship the Lord. May God bless all of you, your children and your loved ones. Peace, love, joy, and greatness of God be with all of you.